Greetings and salutations everyone. Today I'm doing a tutorial on star minimization, a topic that I've been wanting to do for about six months now, but I've just been too busy to do so. I've learned this technique from my friends at photographingspace.com and they have a Photoshop action there that automates the process for you, which makes it easier. Now the first question that comes to mind is why? We go through so much trouble pushing our equipment to its limits to capture as much of the night sky as we can, so why would we want to reduce the stars? Well, it's really about simplification of the image. A lot of our post-processing to bring out the Milky Way core also brightens everything else in terms of it increases the contrast of the entire night sky, so it brings out the stars a lot more, and it can make the image look very crowded and a little bit too busy. Therefore, to focus more on the nebulosity of the Milky Way core, we can use all sorts of techniques to refocus on the Milky Way. One such technique is by way of star minimization that has a global effect on the image. Now looking at this example here, if I just remove the adjustments, this is the raw image. I've applied some initial post-processing to this. Being, I've done some curves to to heighten the contrast, brings out the Milky Way core a little bit, darkens the shadows. I've done an amount of color balancing, and I've uh, done another adjustment via curves. Okay, from here I'll process the star minimization. First off, I'll duplicate the image. Then I'll zoom into an area of stars. This makes it a lot easier to select the color range. So going up to select, color range, and just reduce the fuzziness down to some arbitrary level. And from here I'll start selecting the color range for the stars. So just selecting a number of stars. And then I'll increase the color range by just increasing the fuzziness of the selection. And say OK. So zooming back out again. That shows the selection. Then we'll go to Select, Modify, and then Feather. You only feather it by one pixel because of course stars aren't very large. So that helps with the blending of the stars. And then you go Other, Minimum, and selecting a radius between 0 0.4 and 0 0.7 depending on what effect that you want to have so if in this case I'm selecting 0 0.6 just say OK and then deselect and then that's it so looking at the before and after star minimization and also looking at the comparison with the initial raw image, you can actually see you can actually see that a lot of the stars are about the same brightness there. It's really the Milky Way core that's different. And from here, you can do things like change the amount of opacity to suit, or increase the brightness, or do another curves adjustment. Does it sound like I like my curves? Now an interesting point to think about is that this was processed at 0.6 minimization, and this was also processed at 0.6, and the only difference here really is around the selection of the, of the color range. So that's about it. Of course to make it a lot easier you could just go to photographingspace.com and go for the action. If there are any other tutorials that you're interested in, please let me know. I do have a substantial list, and hopefully I'll get to more than just a few each year.